Well, I'm taking some time away from the Rose at the moment, directing this play, The Conquest of the South Pole, here at the Arcola in North East London. And we're bringing the play to the Rose uh, at the end of May. This has a wild, anarchic energy to it. It's not got rude words, it's not got nudity, it's not got gratuitous violence. It's got a real youthful energy. This is radical, lively, spiky, spiky, spunky theatre. <laughs> but don't let the lack of nudity and... Put <laughs> 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 you up. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Crane uh, is playing Brankman, and Sam was in The Lady from the Sea. Um, Emma Cunniff is playing La Brankman, she's called. Uh, Emma was at the Rose in Dumshire. That's right. Yeah. Oti Fagbele is playing Slupionic, which was the part that Alan Cumming played for me originally. Can you do a little bit of your speech? That speech about uh, when you were with your, your mother? Most of the time, there he sits, gnawing his nails. There he stares. There he glares if you dare to talk to him. There his moods. Being unemployed just isn't fair. It's so unfair he can't get his ass off the chair. Can't speak for despair. So it's not, it's not kind of like artificially imposed on these characters. That's how these characters speak with a real love and relish of language. And that's that sort of expression. I mean, I think it's interesting this play was, you know, originally done when you did it before in the 80s in the Thatcher era. And um, there were a lot of communities hugely affected by unemployment. And now that is happening all over again. I think there's a very important thing about this play is that it's not really about fantasy. It's about how a group works together or falls apart. Mm -hmm. oh, I was also thinking that another thing I think is really exciting about this play is that it's kind of an event. It's the type of play where you can't go to the cinema and have this experience. You can't go what, turn on your television and have this experience. This is going to be an experience which you have to go to the theatre to have. And that to me is what's wonderful about the theatre, is that there is a joining between the audience and the participants on stage of creating this thing somewhere in the middle. And, you know, when it works, it can, it can be magical. And I think it's the thing I've explain, like, explain the climate. Explain the march. Uh, oh, oh well, I think the march. Well, you know, the, one of the climates, not to give away a spoiler alert, but I, I'd say that if, if anyone out there listening has got friends who, or young people who haven't been to the theatre before, I think this would be a fantastic first experience because, you know, I, I don't know, as, as, a, as a young person, I remember going to the theatre a lot of times, not feeling engaged by the material. And I pretty much guarantee that any person coming fresh to the theatre will have a ball if they come. And so I'd say this is a great opportunity to invite some nieces, nephews, cousins, uncles, brothers, <laughs> whatever, who, who haven't had a lot of experience in the theatre because they're going to love it. <laughs>